Hello everybody, this is Robert with Deep Thought Cycle Blog and we're going to do a little bit of an off the bike review right now. And before I do that, I'm going to do a review of my pump, a new pump that I got. And before I do that, I'm actually going to go across the street here and buy six eggs and tell you about my, my egg diet. So let's go over here and check this out here. I'm leaving my uh, last summer camp job in China before I head back to the US, right? Now, normally, I start my day out well, I've been doing this now for about four months now, five months, and I made four months. I start my and start my days out with six eight, sometimes four, sometimes five, but most of the time six. And um. A lot of people say you shouldn't eat eggs because they're high in cholesterol. Well, I haven't been eating a lot of other meat, not a lot, not a lot of protein. I've been eating eggs and um, then some, some vegetables, some lettuce, fruits. Um, I've been cutting down on bread. I've been cutting down on like almost no bread, uh, no fried stuff, no pork. You know, I've lost um, from like 85 to 65 kg so far. And not a lot's because of extra, a lot of this is times because of my diet, I think. So what I normally do, I'm gonna show you right now here. We're gonna do a pump review here. Turn my bike around here so you can see the pump, how it works here. Right. A lot of times I bring the eggs from home because they're cheaper, but I'm today I didn't have any eggs at home. So um take my helmet off here. So I'm buying them outside and I buy six of them normally for about nine yen, which is about a dollar and ten cents I guess. We're gonna talk about this pump here. Um, let's get some eggs because I'm hungry and this is the Chinese way that they cook eggs normally like a rice cooker slow cooker and they have like this tea kind of salty it's like a salty tea flavor and um, normally I get the old man not this kid here and follow uh, Luga Jida so um, I get six eggs here and they put them in here it's, it's hot normally you get them in the morning when they push them in there, sometimes it's too hot, you know. You have to wait. Well, what's your little Oh. Little guy, I mean by me. Oh, see. It's like you get that at the Little guy, I mean by me. It's got, see, some Chinese people, even if you speak Chinese, they, they don't, they don't listen to the speak English down here. Bush it, you get it. What's your little guy, I mean? It's not a little sister, it's a. Oh, So they put them in a bag like this here, and then I eat them. And they're kind of salty, and it's kind of good they're broken open. A lot of times they'll be broken open in the pot, so they'll have the, <laughs> the juice in there and stuff. And I'm gonna use we WeChat here to, to pay for it here. Joe Kwai, did it? Oh, yes. Nice, nice, nice. A lot of the young people like to try to speak English when they see a foreigner. Um, but they think that everybody's white speaks English. Right? <laughs> and, uh, 
Ще ще я. Ще ще я. So, um, I'm starving. I would eat them right now, but I'm going to do a review first. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to talk about my new bike pump here. And I've got this bike pump here um, to replace my old pump. I can't remember I did an old pump on my Lizine uh, HPG pump that I've used for many, many years. I think I had a review on it. Um, the problem with the Lizine pump is... The Lazine pump is milled from CNC aluminum. It's high quality, just like the Lazine Deca Drive Light. Um, you could see a review on that too when you get a chance. Um, the Lazine pump is really, really a, a good pump for being solidly built. I've kind of got a love hate relationship. The problem with my Lazine pump, even though it's got the nice chuck on there, is I often bend my my valve stems i've been many many valve stems with the design pump caused me a lot of headaches over the years i even switched to a custom uh, valve head on the design and and also um the chuck on it if you use it a lot in the rain it will it will freeze from the dirt on the streets and you can't unscrew it and if you're in emergency and you need to screw it and you can't it's a big it's a big pain um and also on the design pump, um, I've had to grease the oil, uh, oh, grease the rings, the O-rings inside the pump quite frequently. So um, that's kind of a pain in the ass. And also with the design pump, the handle on it um, is really, really thin. So if you don't have bike gloves and you're trying to pump up a pump up a tire up to six bar, which I often run these, these I, mean, I run these tires at six bar. Five and a half to six bar in the city when I'm trying to go fast mode. If I'm on, you know, because these are the Marathon Supreme Touring Bus, and even the Marathon Supremes I had before, you could see the review online. Um, they've got a very thick puncture protection, so even at high, a high pressure, the tires feel feel soft. And I know that you can still go fast for soft tires, but when you're fat like I was, it felt like you're riding on pillows of course the marathon supreme tl easy tubeless tires you don't need to pump them up that much they don't have that thick flat protection i really love the supreme tl easy uh tubeless tires but i don't have them on there right now because i'm getting ready to go back to america to nevada and these ones here 700 by 40 there they have more flat protection i I believe they're bomb proof, um, maybe a little bit better off road, just a little bit because extra tread. But I got these for the extra tread, not to go off the road, but I got these for the extra tread because I believe they would just provide a little bit more flat protection. But they're really, really heavy. If you're commuting and stuff, I recommend this uh, Marathon Supreme TL Easy Tubeless. They're super awesome, super fast. Um, these will give you a really good workout. Now that I'm losing weight, I could go faster and it's much, much easier. Um, but still, they, they don't spin as high and they're, they're much more heavy tire at a kilo or more a piece. Um, but so I need, so I, I just pump, I pump up these tires about once every week now or two weeks, a week, week and a half, depends. Um, and I got rid of my, my pump because this is having so many problems. I'm going to the U.S. and I, I can't have problems with the locking up with the, with the piston locking up or with the not being able to screw the chuck or bending my valve my valve stem some more. So I got this this toe peak and I'm not really a toe peak fan that much. It's kind of a cheap I mean I've got the toe peak rack here for my for my dog really and I had a bag that goes on top it's got the track. But honestly it's not as stable as the other racks. So I'm eating into the aluminum um, you could see a review about that. I talked about that before. Um, recently, I got a toe peak. What heck? Should we do a dual a dual review? Okay, we're gonna do a dual review. Um, this is a toe peak uh, bag, and I don't even know the name of it. I'll look at it later on, and I'll put it in the description. This is the a large size because my frame bag right here is not waterproof, and when I'm in downpours and stuff. Um, and I'm going to the U.S. and I need to be able to carry a lot of extra stuff. Um, I do have a big bag that's going on the front, the ankle bag. 
um, but I found it convenient to have something else that can be waterproof um, and this is fully waterproof and I got the biggest size possible um, it's got a, a compartment in here um, I keep my Lazine batteries in there so they don't get in contact with other metal stuff um, pretty convenient and um, you know, keep my other stuff in there that's waterproof that I don't have anything in there right now but it's a very convenient bag I, I bought it online for like a hundred and hundred yen or something. I can't remember. I got it real cheap, second hand. Um, try to buy second hand. It's much better if you can. Um, real good deal on it. Um, you know, I've, I've had these bags a lot um, in the past. Also, I have the Topeak mount here for my phone um, and a Topeak try bag. So I guess I am a little bit of a fan of Topeak. Um, it's functional. But this pump here, let me tell you, um, you know, it doesn't look as sturdy as the design pump. Um, let me set my helmet down here. Underneath this walkway here. A lot of the Guangzhou buildings have walkways like this because it rains a lot. So you stay out of the rain when you're walking and shopping. You know, most of the shops are closed down now due to impeding economic doom. Um, So, this is some handy, hand, fancy camera work, right? Give me a second, I'll figure it out. Jesus Christ. Sorry, okay. So, um, this is the, the pump, and the thing about the pump is, when it goes on the bike, it screws in there and clicks, and, um, uh, mine that I got, I got it, I got it for like um, 120 yen, like, um, I don't know, like $20? No, not $15 or something. Way cheaper than I could get in the U.S. Um, I got it second hand. It was a little bit cheaper because the guy said it's got this little piece broken right there that holds the head. I'm actually putting it into my um, design pump mount. It goes underneath my water pump, my water uh water bottle it fits the design mount perfectly i don't even need to bother wasting my time to change it um, it's got a gauge on it and this gauge you can see here is bar and psi and it's a little bit hard to read the bar increments um, but it's got a, a selector so you could set it it's really super easy to read when you're inflating your tires. I I use it. I hope you can see me straight. Sorry. I use it a lot. Um, it's a really great gauge. Um, it's perfect. It's it's so much easier. On the Lazine pump, um, you guys try. Okay. On the Lazine pump, they have the gauge inside here. And let me tell you about the spring gauge on the Lazine. Um, it's you know I have a, I also have a Topeak pressure checker and it's always about half a pound difference. Um, there's a difference between the Topeak uh, electric checker and the Lazine. And on the Lazine, and I've had two of them, the spring will stick in there, so it won't really move. And you're pumping and pumping and pumping, it'll stuck, and the gauge will jump like half a bar. And you can get used to it on the Lazine, but it's just not so accurate, and it sticks a lot. This one doesn't stick, and with the design you have to rotate it around so you can read it. It's very difficult to read. With this one, it's a hundred times easier to read the gauge. Um, and one thing I'm worried about this pump is this this here you put your foot on the foot foot pin, whatever it's called. It's made out of plastic. Now I've just had this for a couple weeks. I don't know how long the durability will last. I mean, it, obviously it looks plastic here, plastic here. It seems like a strong rubber, but you know that design pump is just pure CNC milled um, aluminum or something, so it feels more sturdy. Um, but this is not not too bad. I mean, when I'm put on there, it seems like it'll be okay for a long time. I I hope we'll, we'll put it through the test. That's for sure. Um, but let me talk about you twist this open. Let me tell you something. This right here in your hand is so much easier when you're pumping it up six bar. Oh my God. I don't need to have a bike glove or take my shirt off 
are put between my hands, because you're doing this a hundred times on the design, it really digs in your palm, hurts, um, it's difficult. Much, much easier with this form-fitting handle right here. Huge difference. Number two, the piston, the pump itself, the pump piston, is actually much more smooth. I don't see the rings. With the Lasagne, you take it, a, take it off. With this one, I don't even know if it's possible to open up. It looks like it might not be possible. So it looks like it's a zero maintenance pump. Impossible on the design. The design you have to put grease in there. But when you're pushing, it is so much more precise for the air pressure. I can feel, I feel like I'm getting a lot more out of each pump with this than the design. And when I pump up my tires, indeed, it takes me like 30% of the pumps or 40% of the pumps that I would need on the design pump to pump up my tires. So it's much faster. It's much more precise and smooth. Like there's very little movement between the piston and the walls of the pump. I don't know if you call that a piston on a pump or what. Um, but when you're ready to close it, you just lock it in there and you twist it and it's, it's all ready to go. And um, let me, let me fold this down and I'm going to put it on here on my, my bike. you how that fits on there just like this and I'm using the the design mount which is similar to the Topic mount I could type my my velcro on here of course it's a little bit uh, that mount is broken a little bit but no big deal I don't hit it when I pedal it stays in there pretty tight and I don't even recognize it but I when I need it it's great I can't tell you how bad it is to have um, your valve stem bent on, a, on your spare tube. That's something that's not good news, and that's happened on on both bikes and on more than one design pump model that I had the HPG. It's sad. I wouldn't love the design, but it just you know right and gets it gets it gets like the the piston inside gets full of uh, debris and. You have to unscrew it, and if you don't have the grease on it, because you don't use your pump a lot, because at home is just so pain, it was so pain in the ass. I would um, I would use my floor pump at home, but with this pump, you know, my floor pump, ironically, my Lasagne pump broke, and my floor pump broke on about the same time. Um, with this, with this here, I don't need to use the floor pump. I really don't. It's that great. Um, so I don't know what the normal price is. Um, I got. I recommend getting your stuff secondhand. I got mine, and it's super awesome it's well worth it i need it for my trip um and this bag here i got it also it's it fits my bike good i haven't cut my stem you know i don't have a road bike um and it's it's great it does the job i, I at first it was really loose i thought what what is this it's so loose but you really got to tighten these velcro straps and if you have a small size frame and you got another frame bag on there i mean it might look kind of goofy and stuff but um uh, you know i'm going on trips and um to the US and I need it um, so make sure you check out the review on the design light here I have a review this is a great light what already sent me to I use them both um, you see the mount is not very good I got to put some rubber in there this this will fold down when I hit stuff um, and my six eggs they say a lot of people say don't eat eggs they've got cholesterol in them um, I have hypothyroid I have blood clots I worry about cholesterol but I also read surveys that says that your body, um, your liver will um, consume more cholesterol if needed. There's like he healthy cholesterol and some of the surveys or some of the studies are controversial about cholesterol and eggs and how much your body can use. Considering I don't eat any fried food or anything else, um, I'm not a doctor. Um, I eat ostrich eggs too. I've eaten those before. Those are pretty good. They taste like chicken eggs. Duck eggs taste terrible. Don't eat those. Right? Um, but yeah, I, I think they're great. Um, protein, I'll, I'll eat these and I won't be hungry for this kind of food. I'll eat these and they'll fill me up for the rest of the day. Um, I will get some nuts later on and some some salad um, and some popcorn. 
I'm good. And some fruits, vegetables if I can. Um, but anyways, it's, it's healthy. And um, that's my review for my Topeak bag and my, my pump. Uh, it's the best pump I've ever had on a bike. Um, there's different kinds of Topeak Morph ones. Um, this is called a Morph G and it's got the gauge on it. I don't know the other ones. I can tell you I recommend this one for now. Um, I have a new 36 liter Yeti that I got real cheap, like about $3, $4. Um, I'll do a review on that later on. My straps are holding up pretty good. And everything's ready. I'm going to change my chain before I go to the US and use this chain as a backup spare. And um, yeah, I'm getting ready to go. Um, thanks for checking it out. I'm setting up a GoFundMe. Um, for those of you who don't watch my channel normally, I'm trying to go to the US and we oh, can really use donations. Um, if you have the opportunity to subscribe to our Patreon, it is so greatly appreciated. Um, and stay tuned. I'll try to have my GoFundMe up in the next week. Um, if you have any questions about anything, let me know in the comments. And, um, and be healthy. Well, take it easy. I'll catch you guys later on. Bye-bye. Be safe out there.